Hey guys. Hey everybody. It is opening weekend of food and wine. Mm. Look at all this construction. They're really going, uh, they, I guess uh, we had heard the other day that for the 50th, they're doing construction everywhere. So it's probably to make all the parks look a little bit better, don't you think? Make them all look pretty. But as you can see, look. We actually haven't been to Epcot. We haven't been to Epcot in weeks, right? Yeah, like I'm gonna say a couple months. When was the last time? It was uh, it was during a festival, right? I don't know. It was with your mom. Yeah. I think it was a festival. Oh, it was uh, Illuminations. Oh yeah, yeah. For when they had all the Illuminations merch out for the last time. I'm excited to time. see what they have for food and wine. See if we can find any yummy food. And let me put this up because it is starting to rain right now. This entrance looks really weird, like this. This is weird walking in here and not being able to see all the flowers and all the topiaries welcoming you to food and wine. But in the long run, it's gonna look a lot better. What do you got there? Look how cute she is. She's adorable. That's different, huh? It's adorable. Is that their spirit jersey? Yep. $65. Look how Everything's cute better she is. with sprinkles. That's the truth. The same thing on the hat, too. I'm not sure I'm liking this. It's different. It's different. Beauty. Look at the trash can. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. $27.99. Yep. So Minnie's front and center. Yeah. Definitely. She's definitely front and center for this. Look at. Have you ever noticed? Mickey and Minnie look identical except for the eyelashes. Ooh, that's heavier than I was expecting. It's really heavy. Oh, these are adorable too. For $21.99. Oh, look at the spoons. For $19.99. See the spoons? Oh, these are so cute. I'm gonna try them. $14.99. Then they have the oven mitt for $21.99, same as, is that an ornament? Yep. Oh, and that for $29. Oh, they also have pass holder commemorative collection releases. Mini and Mickey plates and mugs, September 12th. Cute. See, that's a good one. Thirty dollars, the yeah. color I like. Let's get this gray one. That's good for guys. Well, I mean, women too. And it's not really a pocket. It's, it's a fake pocket. It's a fake pocket. It's a faker outer. Thirty-five. Ooh, I like that. I just saw that to your left too, because they have more merch over to your left. That's cool. How much is that one? Thirty. You see, they have the hats over here. Well, there's the Doonies. There's the Doonies, there's the Magic Band, there's the Charm. And there's the pins. Limit two per guest, per style. Oh, we got some pigment love going on. Well, this is $20, this pigment. This food and wine one's, uh, 
Yeah, I can't read 24. And they have some Remy. Little Remy. This all pass holder stuff. Oh, that's cute. $15. 15 I love both of them. Though. Yeah. I like how they both have the cup and the plate. Mm -hmm. Figment or Remy. And also the uh, food and wine phone cases. $34.99. Oh. And that one. Look at that phone case. Oh, that's good. $34.99. Holy moly, that's a big. That's a serious lanyard. Uh, you put your pass in there? You know, I mean, the, it's probably for. Can you for... imagine if I wore that at work? Do you think I'd say anything? But you know what it is? Okay. That's like a Japan style, right? Yeah, they they I love, love them putting on. the passes there, and that's why they have it. What? See, that thing's huge. I mean, I don't think they would say anything at work, do you? I don't know. I don't work with you. <laughs> so, if you're wondering, they do still have some of the uh, farewell illumination stuff from shirts to cups and the ears. How adorable is that? That's it's like so cute. it's like one of those things that people hang their kid off of the front of them. It's velvet though. You couldn't fit much in there. No, it's small. All right, luckily we got here a little early, so we're gonna go around and show you what they have. Coastal Eats, lump crab cake, baked shrimp and scallop scampi dip, Pacific True strip, bass tostada, and some other stuff. I think Coastal Eats was one of our favorites last year. I love the uh, scallops. And here's the Earth Eats booth, the Impossible Burger Slider, Impossible Cottage Pie. So that means there's no actual meat in it. And here's the Active Eats, loaded mac and cheese, salmon, fruit and nut energy snack. We're gonna try our first thing was the loaded mac and cheese. We did go with mac and cheese while we were in California. Yeah. It's always a good go-to. Oh, you're getting the mac and cheese. Are you excited for your mac and cheese? Any of the green stuff? None of the green? We're not big on greens, as in onions or scallions. I mean, we like salads. Yeah, we eat salads all the time. I think the, the bacon time. might be a little spicy. Really? A pop, like temperature-wise. Okay. Good? The bacon tastes like bacon bits. Bacon bits? It looks like bacon bits. The macaroni and cheese though, right now. Good. Warm. Really good. Smells good from here. I'm gonna go a step farther than you and just move all this greens out of the way. Ooh, it's hot. I warned you. Like temperature wise. Mm -hmm. Nice and fresh. Yeah. They just opened the booth. I think the the bacon overpowers the macaroni yeah. and cheese. That was my bad. Yeah. You think it overpowers it? Mm -hmm. You can't really even taste the macaroni and cheese. Yeah, there's, it's like an over, like you said, an overpowering to it. Still really good though. Yeah. I'd eat it again. Well, you gotta, yeah. in about a second. <laughs> wah, wah. All right, flavors from fire. Steakhouse bun and burger, corned beef, chimichurri skirt steak, chocolate picante. They left the uh, game day desk from when it was here. Cool. And I've heard the uh, Steakhouse Blender Burger is really good. Maybe we'll get back and try this, but there's a lot of food to try today. Oh, we did try this last year. We tried the braised beef stroganoff. It was pretty good. Maple bourbon cheesecake sounds good. Oh, actually it looks pretty good too. Yeah. Pretty sure we haven't got anything at the wine and dine yet. But they have uh, seared scallops, butternut squash ravioli, which sounds awesome. And a wine and cheese palette. Did you see that? Butternut squash ravioli. Yeah, you would probably like that. Yeah. And here's the price this year: scallop six twenty-five, squash ravioli four fifty. I see that building. You know what my first thought was? Bathrooms. Even though there's a bathroom right over there, it's a really small one. Yeah, that one is like too small. Yeah, <laughs> they needed more bathrooms. Ooh, Hawaii. We never. I don't think we've ever gotten anything from here, have we? Let's see what they have. 
pork slider, grilled tuna, spam hash. I looked over there and you know what my mind said? Put another shrimp on the Barbie. Because Australia. My mind said uh, orange bird. Orange bird. Sipper cup. That's where it was last year. All right, I don't think this is what it was called last year. Shimmering sips. Her ice cream looks good. Yeah. One of the few things I have seen from here is the strawberry soft serve. And it looked good. You know, I'm not sad that there's not uh, a lot of topiaries here, because this is all pretty cool. Thailand booth has marinated chicken, shrimp and cold noodle salad, red hot spicy Thai curry beef. Anything there you look appetizing to you? Well, we see the uh, Remy Ratatouille's hide and squeak for $6.99. We're going to go and see what the prizes are. Oh, I like the cups. That's actually a pretty good prize, isn't it? How much? $6.99. Yeah. That's like character warehouse prices for those. Almost. What were you going to say you heard about right now? What? Uh, the Remy's are inside the buildings because of the storm. Because of the storm coming, yeah. Islands of the Caribbean. Let's see what they have. Empanadas. Oh, you know I like the empanadas. Empanadas, $5.50. Spiced chicken, $5.50. And casita. Casito? Puff pastry with sweet and cream cheese. Mexico, the taco, tostada. Some kind of chocolate looks good. Oh, that stinks. Hope I wasn't zoomed in for those other countries. Mexico. Yeah, we're gonna check out the Edison. Uh, ed I'm about to say Edison instead of the Odyssey. Let's see what they have at the Alps. Warm raclette Swiss cheese, venison stew. Ooh, venison stew sounds good. Blueberry and almond frangipan tart. The Alps. All right, since we haven't looked yet, here comes China. Do you think they have any uh, dumplings or pot stickers? I don't know. I would love it. They do. They do. I can see it from here. Oh, definitely, yes. They have spare ribs, chicken dumplings, chicken and shrimp, ba uh, a chicken and shrimp bao bun. That's new. Might have to try that, huh? Definitely gonna have to try the bao. Bao bao bun, I don't know how some people say it. Oh, it's a little different. It's not like I was expecting, it's in the bun. And they only give you two? Yep. So it'd probably be wise to go inside and get them. Yeah, $4.95. But no bao buns? No, they're not ready yet. Oh, you can't open and not be ready, China. What's up with that? We know these are going to be good because we always eat these whenever we come here. Yum! Did they say when they were going to have the bao buns ready? They said 15, 20 minutes. But you don't know. It's really good. This is our go-to, so. I know, I'm sorry. We need to try new things. But it's so good. We were trying to. <laughs> I know, we were trying to. All right, here's try number two for the bao bun. We're going to order it and wait as long as it, it takes. Really good. It better be. We just don't want to come back. Is it worth the wait? We're about to find out. Chicken bang. Thank you. Oh yeah. Surprisingly very cold. I'm excited. Did you hear what she said about this? It's a it's a little spicy. It's a little I better get a shrimp though in that one, huh? Yep. Let's see. Oh. Shrimp nied. Hide the shrimp. How about we do this? We're gonna do this. Ready? <laughs> oh, I'm liking it. I don't know, that breeze feels wonderful though right here. Oh, and there's a kick for the spice. Is it spicy? It is to me, you probably won't even notice it. See, it's a little messier than I was. I was expecting the bao bun like you get at uh, Tropical Hideaway in California or Pandora for the uh, cheeseburger. 
But we've had this type of bao bun here before and it was really good. It's kind of, it, the bao bun's almost tasteless. It's nice and light though. Yeah. I don't find it spicy though. I told you you wouldn't find it spicy. I'm a weak, a weakling when it comes to spice. Everybody knows that. Mm, it is good though. It's good. You know what I just noticed? They've what? upgraded all the booths, the look of them. You think so? Yeah. I think this is exactly the same. Oh, okay, then my mind is a terrible thing I wasted. Warm Indian bread, red curry, korma chicken. Maybe the Indian bread, because that's like non bread, right? With different dips. Let's see. Yeah, the different dipping stuff. You know, I wish I was a person who liked curry because there are so many different type of curry dishes. You don't like spicy though. I know, that's why I'm saying I wish I was one of those type of people. Here's a refreshment post. Never noticed it. That Nigerian meat pie looks pretty good, doesn't it? It does. Look at that no worries panna cotta. Savannah smoothie. Mmm. We're going to be so full by the time we leave here today. Let's head over to Africa. Uh, some coffee barbecue beef tenderloin, Kenyan vegan githeri and walk right in front of me. Thanks. Piri Piri skewered shrimp. Shrimp always sounds good to me. Shinka noodling, roast bratwurst, apple strudel. The bread that bratwurst in looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I think most uh, food and wines, we always get some from Germany, don't we? No, we've never. Yeah, we did. We got the ham and cheese thing here oh, that one time. Okay. But you know what we haven't gotten in a long time? I'm just, yeah, the... Uh, yeah, I was just thinking that when I was looking at that, how long it's been since we got the caramel popcorn from here. I have been here in a long time. Well, it's not that. The last couple times we'd eaten so much too in the different festivals that we just never even went in there. See, like, that's our problem. Like, we're already getting full. Yeah. Now... I'm going to be picking and choosing what to get next because I'm, I'm already filling up, you know? So we're not even, we're just almost halfway around. Yep. All right, let's see what they have at Spain. Seafood salad, you might like that. Charcuterie in a cone, Spanish style paella, seafood salad. It's probably cold though. It looks cold. I don't like cold seafood salad. But you can't go wrong with seafood usually. Yeah, you can't go wrong with scallops and anything. No joke, we've been asked what? 50 times. They are trying to push, push the little passports out because... I don't know why. If you've made it all the way halfway across and you don't have a passport, there's something wrong with you. Because, ooh, what is that? Raviola carbonara. Do you want to get tradition, it? If you want it, yeah. When was the last time you actually had a tradition of cannoli? Have you had one? I've had them because Paul at work has made them. He's brought them in. Whew. His tiramisu at work too, they brought in. Whew. Ashley's going in line to get the cannoli. What a beautiful day. It is a little hot. That's the only downside. They have put a lot more tables around which is good. Look at this view. Nice little breeze here at the water. All right, this is the first time, all the times I've ever been to Epcot, I've never stood up on top of this. What a view. I thought that view from over there was good. This view is even better. I wonder what she's gonna think of the uh, cannoli. They're okay. I'm not per se a cannoli fan, but we'll see. Here comes my boo with her snack. It is, I, I came out here and I was like, what a view, and I sat down and I go, you're sitting in the sun, Bob. Do you realize this? Look how tiny it is. Oh, I knew. It's a baby cannoli. Yeah. I just want to see if you like cannolis. I do like I'm in. I'm indifferent on them. Do you want the whole cannoli and I'll get my slush? My American dream slash whatever it is this festival? Sure. Can I lick your frosting? 
So in case you were here tonight, when same day as we're here on Saturday, you could see uh, plain white tees saying, hey Delilah. Aw. Hey there, Delilah. As a remodel and refurbing, that's our favorite. Oh, didn't, weren't they going in a barbecue? We're gonna get a barbecue. Yeah, that's always a good go-to if you don't know what you want to eat. Just like Columbia House in uh, Magic mm -hmm. Kingdom. I don't know, but I really enjoyed Tokyo. Really awesome. Yeah, it was good. Hops and barley over in America. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about their lobster rolls here is they put onions in them. It's really good. I know you love carrot cake. That's a carrot cake muffin, right? Yeah. Ooh, the Brunswick cider is new. Looks good too. Bra oh, beef brisket, yeah. But see, look at all this. That's all claw meat. Yeah. I prefer the meat meat. Her mayonnaise, we that's like how they... The we like the meat. So this is our secret spot on Arley Secret in Japan Pavilion. They have a little, little display, like a little museum. But they have benches. Benches and free air conditioning. Ooh. That's... That's what we should have got. Yeah. Oh, it's got sweet teriyaki sauce. Dang it. Let's see if we can see any as they come out. Oh, I can see a picture of it. All the buns. That looks so good, doesn't it? Ramen looks interesting. Frothy ramen? That's different. It's a light foam I'm, topping. I don't know if I'm that daring. I don't know. Maybe next time, teriyaki chicken bun. You will be in my belly. Morocco. Hey, Morocco has a New York strip steak. Good. With flatbread, I'm gonna hummus say fries. No, say no to the baklava. And we had that before, we didn't like it. The hummus fries are interesting though. Mm. Maybe. I have heard people in the past say they really liked them. Personally, I think the hummus fries look more like hummus cakes, but that's just my opinion of seeing them. Let's keep going. That's the, the Hidden Mickey over in Morocco. For reference, there's Ashley. There's the Hidden Mickey. But I'm not here all the time. Well, that was just for reference of this video, I guess. Belgium. Beer braised beef. Golden malted Belgian waffle and golden malted Belgian waffle. With berry. We've had the one with the berry compote, right? It didn't look like that when we got it though. That's a lot more berry on it. But we have got the chocolate one too, right? So we have tried both of these waffles. Brazil, one of our favorites in the past too. Ooh, pork belly. Brazilian seafood stew featuring scallops. We've had the Brazilian cheese bread here before, right? Yeah, it was really good. Really, really good. France. Let's see, the question is, do they have any kind of escargot? There it is. We got that last year, the croissant escargot. Ooh, see if we can see some pictures of it. Remember the big old yeah. snails I had in that one? If you've seen our video from last year, whew, it was tough. The, the, bright, uh, the puff potatoes, the beef looks good. So we were looking for the Skyliners to be running, but then realized they probably have them all secured for uh, in case Dorian does make it this way. The wind's picking up, huh? Feels so good and yet so hot. Conundrum of weather. Do you know where we're at right now? We're in the future land of Mary Poppins. That's gonna be cool, isn't it? No, we are in Epcot, but this is there's Mary Poppins as I speak, right over there. You saw her. I know her, kinda. We met once. Ireland's got a good line to it today compared to all the other ones, huh? Irish sausage. Cheddar and Stout's dip in chocolate pudding. We haven't really eaten here since they got rid of the uh, seafood stew. Cottage pie thing they had was so good. 
Okay. See what they have. In Canada, this has been by far my favorite. The wild mushroom beef filet mignon. It smells so good. Like really good. But I don't know if I could even eat a bite of it. It's so full. Oh, does that smell good. This is the most popular booth so far. And the refreshment port has a duck poutine. Oh, here it is. Beef brisket poutine, duck confit poutine, traditional poutine, barbecue Bloody Mary. Uh, okay. It's pretty funny, she's waiting for people and there's a long line on that side. <laughs> Lines, you never know where they start and end. You just sound terrible. What, that I was laughing at people waiting in the yeah. wrong line? It stinks when it happens, but it's happened to us before, I'm sure, right? We're, this is where it started when we were talking about putting another shrimp on the barbie. That smells so good. So good. Oh, they got lamb chop, bushberry shrimp, deconstructed pavlova. And we are back to where we began, right? Well, not where we actually began, but back around. We made it around the world. Aye, aye, aye. Is that right? Did I did I nail it? That one song? All around the world. And don't they go like aye, aye, aye or something? That one. If I'm right or wrong, let me know. Chances are, he's wrong. Bless you. Thank you. That's an ingenious display. They're displaying it like it's food on a, on a tray. Cool. Oh, uh, and they use it on this side too. Awesome. Oh, he's adorable. 27. And I didn't see these earlier in there. The figment shirts and hats and the ears. Cool. salt and pepper. That's like traditional salt and pepper shaker, huh? 9.99. That's two. For one. Oh, and a recipe book. Should come with recipes, don't you think? $15. Ooh, it's hot. Where are you at? I'm right here. So that was a... Uh... It was a great first day of Food and Wine Festival. Our first for us. time. It's the third day of Food and Wine, but first for us for 2019. And uh, we got some food and we ate it. The problem is with the heat and drinking water, you will fill up really fast. Well, that too. And uh, in Ireland, they have that one beer stout cheat or whatever. Or if you get a nice, like, loaded potato soup or something it's too hot to walk around yeah. like that some of the food but they look like they had some a lot of uh yummy stuff so we'd be coming back a couple times to oh check yeah it out. we gotta get the filet from uh canada and we have to get the the uh bun from china china i mean japan, japan. yep but my favorite was the uh was it the mala chicken and shrimp bayo bun from you like that oh yeah i like that from china that was my favorite today I think I like and the American the, uh, dream. I like the um, what were they? Dumplings. The dumplings. <laughs> but that's just like you get from the quick service. We're in not there. very adventurous today. We. That's how we were. Yeah, we even somewhat. waited for the bio, the bayo bun. Somewhat. The bao bun, bayo. Everybody says it differently. Yeah. I probably butcher that too. But crowds are coming in. Wish I wish it was just like a tick cooler. I mean, we could. I'm, it was a nice breeze, but it's. Uh, it says 82 right now, but it feels like 95. I'd like to welcome fall. You you can come at any time. Yeah, we'll, we'll invite you here early. Yes. How about uh, Dorian's making his way out so he can just push fall, please. pull fall in yes, with them. That'd be nice. And we ran into Tammy and her daughter from yeah, New York. it was so nice. Thank you for stopping to say hi. It really means a lot to us. And the other girl who said... Yeah, she just said out. hi walking. That was so nice. Thank yeah. you so much. Had a, had a fun day. 
And now, uh, I don't know, go home. Let us know if there's something you've seen posted or something that you think that we should try, like a must. Or that we would like. A must try. Yeah. Or let us know what your favorite thing is. Mm -hmm. But there's just a lot of good. It's a lot of food. A lot of food. I just Monorail. feel like I just feel like this year though, the food's getting smaller. The portions. The portions yeah. are getting smaller. Cause the uh, chicken, like, why two dumplings? Do you, for the same price inside, they give you four. Maybe they figure two people. I don't know. I don't know. Just but if, if you remember years ago, the portions were like meals. And my advice, Maybe they didn't sell as much. My advice is um, if you want to come, get here like around 10 40 and start walking because they all start opening up at 11, but you can beat the crowds. Well, if you get here earlier and you're already over there, right. you'll beat the crowds because they start, right. they opened, uh, our first thing was uh, mac and cheese, and that was like 10 45. Yeah. They opened up. Yeah. So we I have, forgot all about that until I know. <laughs> you just said that, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's something else we ate today. So we had a lot of. Uh, a lot of walking and a lot of eating. We have a lot of exciting videos come up. I hope you stick around and join on our adventures. We appreciate it. Thank you so much because I know there's a lot of people out there that have the same type of videos. We just really appreciate it. But we have some D23 videos, some Disneyland California Adventure videos, uh, back doing warehouse videos. Check them out. Mickey's Not So Scary. Yep. I mean, there's some... And we did get the pass for Mickey's Not So Scary, so we will be going a lot. And there might be some live streams mixed in with that too. A lot of, you uh, never know the seasons. This is a really good season because it starts the fall and it goes in Christmas. One of my favorite times. Yeah, it's, it's the best time to be at the parks. But thank you so much. Don't waste a day. Every day's a gift. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. We are getting done. Bags packed to run the run today. We're really on our way.